Okay, Linda, right. So I'll just start off here with Bad Angel, right? Um, I use Professional. Just gives you everything. So um, I'll just log in. I've had to restart my screen here. So practice mode. So it doesn't cost you any money. You can just go straight in and do whatever bets you want. Make mistakes. Get used to strategies, whatever. There's automated and everything in this. So you'll find this helpful in all sort of batting that you want to do. Now, first thing when you open this up is go to your settings and I'll just show you some settings that you might need to change, some really annoying. So if you just go to edit settings, in the very first one, don't think there's anything. Staking. Maximum you can you can set liabilities. It's this behavior one here, this confirm bets, make sure it's unticked. Because every bet that you go to do It'll ask you to confirm it, um, which is a pain in the ass when you're trying to get on to something, you know. Just make sure that's unclicked, then just save it. Everything else should be fine. You know, um, I'm already in, I just call it normal one. <coughs> now the first thing, you've got your file section here and it gives you all your markets. And then soccer fixtures. So today's the 28th. Um, and look at this game at half two. Who was it? Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember. It was this game here. Now, there's all your markets. Same as Betfair, basically. But if it was doing like a first half goal trade, there's two markets we're going to be using. It's a half time and the half time score market. Okay. So that's the two markets we'll use. I'll just show you something else before we go any further. You've got Guardian here. These be green guys here. If I just click on the Guardian, it'll open it up for me. And you can set all your trades into in a, a certain watch list. So they're all on one page. And I'll just remove these markets. And I'll, I'll just show you as an example. Same again, soccer fixtures. And today is the 28th. And imagine I wanted to do this as a first half goal. So I would do that and click shift. Hold it in, I can highlight the two of them and add it. So there's the two of them in. And these games here, this Q8 game, say where we're going to do both teams to score trade in this. Um, the first thing we want to do is correct score market, add it. We're, we use the over and under 4.5 goals market, we can add that. And then we'll use these all in the setup. And then, okay, good girl. Just my wee girl there, and then match odds will be the last one. So we use three markets in a both teams to score trade, and the first half goal we use just the two. So just there at the top, you can see Excel automation. We can go to watch list, and I can display my watch list. It comes up in this wee box, and now I can just pin that. I can get rid of that, and there's my watch list for every. The th all the markets that I've added in. So I want to get into something quick. I can just go into this here. We can see prices changing. I can see any bets that I've done. Um, <clears throat> not yet. I can just go straight into my ladder there for this half time market. Well, and then you've got one click, which is the first tab, which is basically, I'll just get rid of this. This is basically the same as what you'll see in Betfair. And that's the way it'll be there. I have this odds display in a reverse basically just for the ladder which once you get used to ladders it's very easy you know so that's how your bet first screen is going to look liquidity there's no liquidity in this market it's only a favor matched that's why you can see the gaps but for me to set this up i want to lay the draw in the half time market now most trades we're going into is sitting at about 2.4 in the round that and we'll go in at a maximum of 2.2 which gives us a liability. Say, I was, I was going to, I'll just go on as an example of £10 a point. So, my liability is going to be £12. I'll just get into this market now as it's sitting here, just, just to show you the example. There's my ladder, but I'll just take this in reverse, and it's the draw. All these here are the amounts that I can be using. I can change them to whatever I want £2.35, I can change that to 101 16 whatever you want to do. You can just change them. But we're going to use ten pound, and I want to lay. This is your back inside up this way, 
and the land side is coming down this way. So if we look at our one click, if you just imagine this is your ladder turned sideways, there's your prices going down the lay side. Well, it's reversed. I have this reversed. That's your lay side going down, the back and side going up. Go back to normal. There it is there. So I just leave it in reverse. So what I really want to do, if you were just setting this up now, and we want to get into it, we can get in now 204. So I've got my 10 pounds set up. Just add that in. And I can lay here. So that's the best available. And I click £10, I'm straight in the market. If you go into your one click, you'll see. There we go, if £10 there, there, and the draw. So if £10.40 liability, that's it. Once I'm matched on this trade, I need to go to the half-time score market. But in a normal trade, this won't be matched. And you just press keep to keep it in play, and then keep an eye on it. Once it gets matched, you want to go to the half-time correct score market, which we can do here. And I can just click the ladder again, brings me straight in. I'll go to here, the one click, so it's just like your bat for again. And I can see that 1 1 is sitting at 11, which is 10 to 1. So, what I want to do is take my liability, which was £10.40, and for me to get my stake amount, so I'll take £10.40 and divide it by this price here, which is 11. So, take one off, it's 10 to 1, so £10.40 divided by 10, and that tells me I need to. The bet on that for one pound and four p. I use my ladder again because it's very easy, and I'm back on one all, and it's a pound and four. And if I can click here in the back and side, I can back it for a pound and four. And there's my ten pound forty covered. Now you want to put a wee bit extra on to cover for commission because the software doesn't take this into account, so you would lose your commission. So just for all the sake of it, a couple of pence, stick it on. That's me totally covered for this trade now. All I need is a goal. If I get a goal, <coughs> Malay will win. If it finishes one all, I'll get scratch. The only danger for this trade is two all, really. But if it goes to two one, we'll just exit the trade. But that's the initial setup on it. So you're only using two markets, which is, I'll go through them again. I'll show you the one click. Half time market, you lay the draw. And then once this is matched, you go to the half-time correct score market, and you back one off. And that is the trade finished. Nothing more to do. Rather than sitting at the screen all day, once you get this matched, you can do it. You can go away. You don't need to do anything. Keep an eye on it. Have the alert set up on your phone. And if it goes 2-1, go and exit the trade. If not, I just let it run. You can always exit if it goes 1-0 and take the profit there. But, you know, I just let it run because I'm covered. And that's as simple as that. But I just want to show you Betfair, or sorry, Bet Angel. Just go into that settings part and make sure that that behavior, make sure confirm bets is off. And that's basically it. You can change these amounts here if you want to use this one click. This will be sitting in normal. So it's just this is exactly like your Betfair screen. And you can change these amounts to whatever you want to do. £25, this is your lay aside on your back inside and just change your amounts to whatever you want to do so you're using 10 pound a point you could do that and away you go you know you've got a manual bet here so if i wanted to put um a back bet in on that one all i want there's a i have it set at 21 because that's the way i have it set for when i'm laying in play um for the horses so i can set that bet now there's a four pound back bet at 21 i can hit back now obviously that's not going to be matched and there's it sitting there so you can play about with it. There's loads of videos from Bad Angel to see, get you used to it, but um, what we're doing is pretty simple. There's nothing really complicated about it. Once you get used to it, it's fine. So I'll send this video over and hopefully it helps you get set up with Bad Angel. And then, like I said, we can get we can talk. I'll talk you through a couple of trades this afternoon or whatever, and you'll see all the time involved. That's all. I, you know, for that trade there, I have nothing more to do. I can go away from a screen, and it's the same with most trades. But I'll show you like even at both teams to score trade. I'll actually do it now, so you can watch it first before the games start. Right, we'll go back to. I've got rid of my watch list again, so hold on. I'll just take this market now. What we're going to do? Q8 wasn't it? Right, Q8 against the United Arab Emirates. Crack score market. And I'm going. To, I want a Dutch four scores here for half a point. 
So I'm saying once you get used to these, the screen and the, and the strategies, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to use ten pound a point again. Stage one, half a point. So I'm backing with a stake of half a point, and I want to touch a few score lines: one, two, one, three, two, one, and three, one. And that's me. I've set them all in. This gives you your profit. I can place the bet. I go to my one-click screen. It's easier to see, and you can see my profits all in around the same on my four score lines that I wanted to back. That's stage one done. Stage two is the over and under 4.5 market. And it's really, really low. We'll go in sometimes at 1.2 as a maximum. So what I want to do is lay a full point. Just reverse that. At 107. That's the first that's available. So I don't have nothing to do. I'm set up. And you can see here it's cost me 70p. So I've spent five pounds in the crack score market, and I've spent seventy p here. That leaves me four pound thirty left of my point. So all I want to do now is keep an eye on this game, and as soon as the gold goes in, I want to go in and back the draw in the match odds market. So there's the match odds market, and if I imagine the gold's just went in, I want to spend the rest of my point in here on the draw, and that would be what did I say four pound thirty. So I want to back the draw for £4.30. And I can just go in and back it. And that's it done. So if the draw comes in, I've got this amount. Minus the £5.70. Which leaves me with £3 profit. So 0 0.3. But obviously when if the favourite scores, this will go up to 4 5 6 maybe. So you get a far better price. Um, if you get your correct score... If it finishes 2-1, of £22 minus what I've spent in match odds and the over and unders. So it's a fiver, so take a fiver off it. That leaves me with 1.8 profit if I get this, minus my commission, obviously. And if it goes to like 4-1 four, four or 3-2 or something, your under 4.5 lay kicks in. You'll get like 0.1 of a point. So it's pretty simple. You know, this trade, you've stage one and two, which is the crack score Dutch and your over and under 4.5 lay. And then after the first goal, you go in and you back the draw. Nothing else to do with it. The only time you'd have to do anything is if the over and under 4.5 was a bit high and you didn't get matched on it, that you might have to exit the trade early. If it went to like 2-1, two, 3-1, one, one, or, you know, you've no cover if it goes to 3-2, so you want to get out. Make sure you don't get a full loss on it, but you have one point liability on this. Whereas your first half goal, you might have 1.3 point liability. So, pretty simple, nothing to do. No need to be stuck at your screen, but if you do these a few times, you'll get used to them and you'll see that they are pretty simple. So, I'll send this video over for you and hopefully it helps you and gives you a wee bit of an insight straight away before you even try anything. So, okay.